welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Today we're on a little field trip. I've got this village here that I found and fixed up a little bit. It's oh, There's the testificate pit over there. <laughs> That's a little weird. Um, I found this village, fixed it up. It was one of those weird villages where all the buildings were in the water and the poor villagers couldn't get in or out. So they were stuck in their houses. So I added some little walkways and stuff to make it a little bit easier for them. Let me go ahead and get back into first person here. Of course, this being a seafaring village, uh, we do deal quite a bit in seafood here, and I'm going to show you some recipes for that in a little bit. Sploosh! First, let's go check on our fish nets, because we're going to need some fish. Let's see. I already have some fish, but we'll get more fish. Why not? Okay. These are not quite as deep as in the water as I would normally like to place them, but they seem to do fine. I'm going to cheat a little bit, fly over here. The other thing that was notable about this village when I got here, there was an apple tree. And I will show you this one last, along with my clunky little hopper set up there. There are actually three different kinds of trees in the Magic Farm mod pack. The first one you're going to find, and I'm going to go ahead and get my hot bar back, and go back, I'll go ahead and stay in creative for now. The first one you're, no I'm not. <laughs> the first one you're going to find is the forestry apple tree, which you get through crossbreeding trees. You'll see these little apples on there, and you bone meal the bee jabbers out of them. And if you're lucky, it'll drop an apple. This does not always happen, though. Some of them will be perfectly ripe, but you still get no apple. Bummer. The other kind of tree that you might see is the Biomes of Plenty apple tree. I'm going to go ahead and get me some more bone meal because I see some green apples on there. Boin? No. Bone. There we go. No, you can't bone meal those. That's okay. Because when you see red apples, all you do is right click them and they pop right off. But the easiest way by far to get apples is going to be the growth craft way. Yeah, of course, there's an apple just laying on the ground there. Let me just get over there and grab that. Okay. The growth craft apple tree, if you are cutting down oak trees and an apple happens to fall out, don't eat it. Craft it. Turn it into a core. I'm going to turn the rain off. There we go. Once you craft that core, and once the rain stops, there we go. Take that core, find yourself an oak tree, and right-click that core right on the bottom of the tree like so. It will attach itself, and eventually it will ripen. And believe me, if you do this, eventually the apples will just fall off the tree when they get ripe. And once again, you can use my clunky hopper system here, or I'm sure someone has a much better hopper system than I do. You can right-click them, or eventually they will just fall right off on their own. And you can use this, or you can use the Buildcraft Obsidian Pipes, or you can use the Thomcraft Hungry Chest. However you want to do it. Uh, it's not going to be long before you have more apples than you know what to do with. So, what do you do with all these apples? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. We're going to save that for the very last, though. First, we're going to come and visit my restaurant. Stumpy's Wharf fine seafood. And pardon me, I'm going to disable my waypoints here. There we go. Here at Stumpy's Wharf, we serve fresh local seafood in several ways. No, we don't actually serve fish sticks. We could. They're on the secret menu. This is a classy establishment, though. We can't put fish sticks on the menu. The first thing that I'd like to show you is these coconut shrimp here. They're pretty simple to make. One step, let me get the fish sticks off of here. There's the coconut shrimp. Right here on the forestry work table, I've got the recipes saved to make it easier on my trained sous chef here. Coconut shrimp, you take a skillet, and don't ask me how this happens. Apparently in Minecraft, fish just magically turn into shrimp. I, whatever. 
You take your fish, you dredge it in flour and egg, fry it up with some olive oil. The only thing is this recipe is going to require you to have access to coconuts, which means you're going to need to have access to a coconut tree. If you do not have one, check your local village. Uh, the green-robed testificate just might have one up for trade for you. Fry that all up in the pan, add some coconut milk, you get your delicious coconut shrimp. Another one of our specialties here is the leafy fish sandwich. Starts off as a regular fish sandwich. You fry up your fish, put it on some bread, slap some mayo on it. Then you take it over here, take that fish sandwich, and add some lettuce. And it turns into a delicious, nutritious fish sandwich. Into your fancier meals, we start off with the fish dinner. It is a fresh fillet of fish. Dredge it in some flour, fry it up, add a little bit of lemon and a little bit of mayonnaise. I guess that's the closest thing that we have to tartar sauce in this world. And finally, the old pub standby, fish and chips. You know how to make fish sticks? That's one of our early foods I've shown you before, fish, flour, and bakeware. To get the fries, or chips if that's your type of English, it's a potato, salt, and bakeware. You take your fish and your chips, and you put them together, you get fish and chips, obviously. And I'm just going to leave these fish right here. I'm taking the apples with me, you'll see why in a minute. And I'm getting a little peckish here. Let me just, um, sample some of these coconut shrimp. Mmm, yummy. And after you've had your delicious seafood dinner, come on over to the Krabby Apple where you can get some delicious apple cider. Now one of the requests I've gotten for uh, tutorials or cooking shows or whatever we want to call this series is adult beverages because in Magic Farm um, brewing is a little intimidating if you're not sure how to do it but that's okay once you see how it's done it's actually very much like potion brewing it just requires a little bit more apparatus. The first thing you're going to need is a fruit press setup. And for that, you're going to need a fruit press and a fruit press bin. So let me get, oops, there we go. Oh, I did not mean <laughs> to do that. Oops, I just dropped those over there. You're going to need the fruit press, first of all. It's two planks. Any wood planks will do. Two iron, a redstone, and a cobble. It's actually quite similar to a piston, and it actually functions in quite a similar way to a piston. You'll also need a fruit press bin to stick all your fruit in. All you do is take seven planks, uh, make upside down pants with them, you get a fruit press bin. And finally, you're going to need a lever to make it go. And then, Obviously, you're going to need to fill that thing up. So, let me dupe, dupe. You'll need to put in three apple bushels. And I believe I'm still in creative. Let's see. No, I'm not. Let me go ahead and get in creative so I don't have to make more apple bushels. One, two, three. There we go. Now get out. Now, this is the annoying part. You got to hold that lever down. Now you'll notice, uh, as long as it's pressing, the press will go all the way into the bin. When it has successfully squished up your fruit, doo -doo 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 -doo, it will make a different noise and also, there it goes. Also the press doesn't go all the way in. There we go. And where's my bucket? Did I put my bucket away? I didn't. Let's just... Do, do, do. There we go. Okay. Once you have squished up your fruit, it turns into this lovely apple cider here. Right click on the bin with an empty bucket. Once you've got that, you right click your bucket of booze on one of these brew barrels. You get a brew barrel, like so. Quite simple. Three planks on top, three planks on the bottom, iron ingots in the middle. 
So, that one is empty. Let's right click it. Hey, oops. <laughs> Don't right click the empty bucket back on the barrel. You will take out whatever's in it. Now this is young apple cider. Young apple cider is pretty crummy. It's okay, but you know, not great. You get a 25% chance of nausea for 45 seconds and regen for 22 seconds. Well, that's all right, but how do you get a better effect? Well, you have to age your cider by adding other ingredients. Um, that will boost the regen effect and you will still have a 25% chance of nausea for 45 seconds, but that's okay. Now, you notice on the brew barrel, you have these two little silhouettes here. Should look awfully familiar to you. Turns out that booze brewing is very much like potion brewing. You right click your nether wart on first, and then you'll see this little meter start to fill up. Once it does, you will get, I've got to do that one again, Oop. Young, you will get your fully aged apple cider, which I already have some of here. Exactly like potion brewing, you can go two directions with your with your cider. If you want to make potion apple cider, you right click a glowstone on it. If you want to make extended apple cider, you right click a redstone on. And this one ought to be just about done. There we go. Now it's apple cider. These are still cooking. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Potent apple cider. And... Da, 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 da. Extended apple cider. To bottle up your cider, you just right click a glass bottle onto the barrel. And I will put that away there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, have me a little sip. Mm, that's, um, oh boy. Uh, whoo. That was some, whoa, yep. Yep. That was some good stuff. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, okay, let's see if I can get out of here. Uh, it's the door in the middle. Oh, there we go. Well. Uh, dr look out, drunk woman coming through town. I hope you enjoyed your now drunken tour. What are you doing? Tour of Stumpy's Wharf. I'm gonna head in here. Uh, there we go. Oh. <sighs> okay. This is Larry's Bait and Tackle. This is Larry. Now, the first time I came in here, I actually kind of got trapped. Uh, Larry has all kinds of fishing gear for sale. I'm going to borrow a fishing rod there. There's some live bait back there. Uh, just put the fishing rod on my tab, Larry. Thanks. And we are going to go and do a little bit of fishing. I hope you enjoyed our tour. As always, if there is any kind of cuisine you'd like to see me do, uh, just drop me a comment and let me know and I'll see what I can squeeze in for you. Oops. There we go. Ah, there we go. And thank you for joining me. Until next time, bon appetit. I will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.